Hello everybody, Dave Neal here, stand-up comic and host of Bachelor Nation News. And you know me, when there's a Colton Underwood story, we're here to talk about it. Inside Colton's new L.A. home. And boy, is it a nice one. Uh, he bought it with his boyfriend, Jordan C. Brown. We're going to discuss who Jordan C. Brown is, his net worth, and we're going to take a look inside the home. 3.185 million, 3,378 square feet, four bedroom, 3.5 bath, and on one third of an acre. And I know someone in Des Moines is going to be like, for that price, you become the mayor of Des Moines. I get it. I understand. Listen, Southern California is the only Mediterranean climate in the U.S., Prices are a lot. Sure, taxes are a lot too. But, you know, there's nothing... You know, I, live in, I live in L.A., right in L.A., looking to buy my own home, right? There's nothing worse, though, when someone's like, when do you live there? It's like when you're eating food and someone walks up and goes, that looks gross. And then you're like, well, why don't I just throw it in your face then? Okay, <laughs> you know what I mean? So uh, the deal is with L.A. homes is it's obviously not just that it's a high cost of living, but, you know, homes still go up in value. When you're on the coast, homes go up in value. Same thing if you bought a home in New York or Boston or anywhere that's coastal the homes are going to do well until an earthquake wipes it off the map. All right, folks, let's move it along. I'm going to look at what $3 million will get you in Detroit, Des Moines. By the way, spoiler alert, Des Moines. I searched $3 million homes. There go none. There's none in Des Moines. Let me know uh, how much. Uh, uh, did, uh, by the way, I'm, I'm going to go to this uh, home in Detroit that's got a perfect place for me to do power recapping. So, you know, I'm searching for a home with a barn because I want to, you know, uh, reinvent this empire that we have here. So let's get right into it. Okay. First, and not to mention, um, oh, geez, this is uh, the wrong setting that I have here. Let's just delete that, and then that's for later. There it is. All right, so we'll keep it in. Um, Zillow Gone Wild is who posted this, and, of course, they shared it on. Do you guys like looking at homes like I do? It's kind of fun, right? It's like it's like when you hear someone won a lottery, you go, oh, wouldn't that be nice? So some of the comments are hilarious. Oh, yeah, I love it when good things happen to bad people. I'm sure Colton will install an excellent surveillance system in every room. Probably so they can pitch their reality show about moving in together. The trials and tribulations of Colton's first relationship with a man. He's so transparent and that he isn't even close to being the worst thing about him. His boyfriend may want to check under his car, you know, just in case. That seems very quick. And then my post, which I thought was gold. Imagine the embarrassment of misplacing your garage door opener for your tracking device. You know that thing you hit up there? Like, beep, beep, oh, sorry, that's a tracking device. Let's go duct tape that under Cassie's car. Point being is that he stalked and harassed his ex and uh, had, a, had a docuseries come out on Netflix. Some people say, hey, he's uh, he served his retribution. I do, I do, I do uh, feel bad for Colton in ways because you see the church has turned against him and he's kind of, uh, you know, but uh, he's, he lived a lie and he's, uh, he's trying to come out of that and everyone who comes out of the closet doesn't track and uh, harass their ex and stalk their, their ex. I mean, what he did in the pursuit of being liked, in the pursuit of being the victim and having people, you know, cheer for him is is um, a very, manip you know, it's, it's a lot of manipulation that happened. Hopefully he's getting help for that. All right. So let's see what we have here inside the $3.2 million home. So, you know, it's got a nice pool. Obviously, it's not that big. It's on a third of an acre. Uh, nearly a month after the former Bachelor star debuted his not so well received Netflix reality series coming out Colton. He shelled $3.2 million with partner Jordan Brown for a California abode. We don't know that he's actually on the deed. We don't know if he's done the deed. That's none of our business. But is he on the deed? That's the question. Speaking of deeds, uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and do me the deed of being a member of the community free on Facebook at um, Dave Neal's community or patreon.com slash Dave Neal. The 29-year-old NFL hopeful turned reality star and his Democratic political strategist boyfriend closed on the home. Boy, you wanted another reason not to like Democrats? Like how much money you can make being a Democratic political strategist. We'll get into all that. You know what? Let's get into that part right now. We'll come back to this. Let's see who the heck Jordan C. Brown is. Um, Jordan first sparked romance rumors with Colton back in September 2021. When there was photos of them, PDA, I didn't even cover it. I didn't cover it because, look, I'm not trying to cover Colton as he, like, you know, dabbles in his new life dating guys. Like, who cares, right? You know, be gay. Absolutely. We root that on. That wasn't uh, any, any part of the issues we had. The easiest way for me to say it is that it was like me bringing a girl home. Like nobody batted an eye. Colton shared how it was like when his family met his beau for the first time. Don't get me wrong. Of course, people are going to be like, oh, this guy, look, older, a zaddy. Is that what they call him, a zaddy? I've been watching Queer Eye. And while some, well, he's only 38, but he's got a lot of the pepper, you know. 
Uh, and while some, and, and I get it, if the, if a 38 year old man dated a 29 year old woman, you wouldn't think twice about it. But you know, Colton found an older guy. He's, you know, and while so we were finding out what his type is, and while some of you may have been wondering it or not, the new boyfriend featured in Colton's upcoming reality se- series, Colton has also told Us Weekly that he intentionally chose to keep his dating life away from the Netflix cameras for the sake of privacy. Oh, now he wants privacy. Now he wants privacy. Having a public relationship for me was not healthy. I just think right now I'm sort of protecting and guarding what I have. Oh, that, I mean, it makes a good point. Before Jordan Cole's relationship with Bachelor Nation's Cassie Randolph came to an amicable end in, in June 2020, nonetheless, she had filed a restraining order against Colton in September, allegedly stalked and harassed her. Well, you say it came to an amicable end, but that didn't involve all the uh, phone numbers he created to send her uh, stalking uh, messages and tracking her and showing up in her uh, parents' alley at 3 a.m. But of course, amicable nonetheless. I guess we need to research the term amicable uh who is jordan c brown x we don't need that jordan c brown net worth he's recently founded the boutique political strategy agency one blue hill reportedly made above 1.5 million net worth in 2021 now don't get me wrong we'll make this political but uh but uh we're not here to take sides we really aren't i'm uh i'm a left-leaning progressive person i don't associate with the democratic party if i vote with them it's uh, purely out of convenience or necessity the amount of money in politics is ridiculous. We need to overturn Citizen... Uh, let's call it Citizen Kane. We need to overturn... Get rid of that Citizen Kane. Who is that? It's a movie. You know what I mean? Citizens... Uh, what is it? United? Is that what it's called? So, uh, we have so much money in politics, right? That it's 2022 now, and it's already, you know, a campaign season. So you've got people starting wars on their Twitters just to just to suck money from their base, right? How much money do... Oh, the election was a fraud. Donate to my campaign. So it's like, come on. We live in such a rigged system that so much money goes into politics that you've got people like the meat industry jacking up prices. Now I got to spend $9 on bacon... Because we've got all these lobbyists that, you know what I mean? It's it's not one side versus the other. It's corrupt across the board. Across the board. Now, I, I can't, don't even get me started. I don't know how we, I don't know how we overhaul the system. I, I truly don't. I think what we need to do is elect people. I don't know, guys. But the fact that you can be a, an analyst and make one point, and I'm not trying to say it's not a free market economy. Make your money. As a political operative, he has been in the business of getting Democrats elected for two decades. Let me tell you something. There won't be many Democrats getting elected in 2022 or 2024 unless they make some legislation happen. And you can look at Joe Manchin, of course, but everyone across the board, it is just sickening that we haven't raised the the uh, the national minimum wage in over a decade. It's sickening that we haven't uh, absolved some of these student loans that are crippling people, 40 million people. It is sickening that we aren't able to get any medical care during a global pandemic, universal medical. It is just sickening what's happening out there in both parties. They're just the elite. And they, we need common people. We need more teachers and, and public servants and people that represent most of middle America. We need them in office, not these lifelong politicians. It is sickening to me. Jordan Best describes himself in the fewer words, political strategist working on the intersection of politics, technology, and entertainment. Not to miss, he featured, okay, so his age, he's 38. He looks a lot older. Doesn't he look a lot older? I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm almost 38. I'm not not say I mean, I don't know. He's six foot one. I just think he looks not that eight, not that looks or anything, but I think he looks kind of old. The 29 year old NFL hopeful turned reality star. Hit. No, serious. No, maybe not. Maybe it's just the beard's a little. You know, maybe it's just. Uh, okay, we're not here to judge his looks. I'm just saying, uh, good style though. They sold the property. So this home that they bought was dubbed a former celebrity compound. And by the way. Save the comments. We don't come here to hear you talk about politics. You're damn right you do. You come here to talk about whatever my opinion is. And if you have a separate opinion, that's fine. You can call in. We have a hot, you know, we have this number just for you guys. 401-213-9828. You can play your own music in the background. You can swing the Confederate flag. You can do whatever you want as long as you're not hateful. Okay, so maybe not the Confederate flag. The point being, though, is I have a voicemail line for you guys if you have anything you agree or disagree with. And I'm going to be doing 5 o'clock phone calls where I play your phone call 
call in um, we'll respond to it all right let's keep this party going they sold the property so this was bought by jessica simpson's now divorced parents joe and tina and then they sold the party in 2020 for the same amount. Isn't this wild? The home was sold just a year ago for $2.1 million. How the hell did it go up 50% in value, 60% in value six, since then? You know what I mean? Everyone's like, well, if you want to buy a home, don't buy so many Starbucks coffees. It's like, listen, Nancy, that's not the problem. Okay, the problem that we have is we can't even come close to looking at a deposit for a home. Because in, unless you have like wealth generationally in your family... It ain't happening. It just ain't happening. Unless you're a power recapper like myself who's been blessed with a following here that can actually command him a barn. Somebody buy me a barn is what I'm saying. All right, so here it is. Again, $3 million, It doesn't get you much in uh, in the valley here. He lives um right up the road from me. Uh, I mean, it's a nice place. Don't get me wrong. It's not bad. But like I said, it's going to keep going up in value. So as far as an investment goes, this might be a better investment than buying in Bozeman, Montana. Now, there's nothing wrong with Bozeman, Montana. I know the property value has gone up a ton there. By the way, is anyone watching Yellowstone? I just finished season two. Holy cow. Don't leave any spoilers here. I'm only halfway. Oh, my gosh. I watch Yellowstone now in all denim and with a shotgun. That's what I, how I watch Yellowstone. Oh, boy. Hmm. Initially built in 1975, the home has since seen a bevy of upgrades, which include European white oak floors throughout, an expansive kitchen, a great room, and primary suite with a spot-like bathroom that includes a freestanding tub, according to the listing. I love reading chef's menus in real estate uh, listings because they always use the best vocabulary in the world to describe things. I didn't know I needed European white oak, white oak floors until now. Are those exposed beams or do my eyes deceive me? All right. Uh, of course, this isn't their styling. This is, uh, and by the way, I always thought I I, I didn't realize how lucrative the um, furnishing. What's it called? The people who furnish houses just to take photos. It's amazing how much more homes will sell for if there's a chair in the photo. Isn't that wild? Like how, like just goes to show how little we have as far as imagination goes when we're like, I don't know about this home. Ooh, but it's got a table right there. So here it is, this nice oven range, good backsplash, all the terms you hear on love it or list it, right? Foosball table, this is a waste of space. You don't want to. You don't want a foosball table taking up a. Whole, this could perfectly be a power recap studio, but instead we have a foosball table. You play twice till you break your wrist and get in a fight with your dad. All right, folks. The game room, uh, the primary bedroom. Um, I personally don't like it when you have like such stage. Like, what are you gonna really get out of bed and then just sit three feet away right here? You know what I mean? It's like talking about opulence. Now, as far as what I want out of a master bathroom, I want. And this is close, but Tasha, my fiance, I want, she loves these freestanding tubs, not me. To me, this is just one slip away from, you know, losing a nutsack. But um, I do like the bench. I do like to catch um, a bench here in the freestanding shower. Now, I've had an idea. Listen, listen up on this. Leave a comment. I've had an idea. I want, now hold on, in my shower, I want a small fridge. Now, have you ever had a beer or a LaCroix or a nice crispy canned wine in a in a cold, in a hot shower? Have you ever had have you ever experienced the luxury of holding a drink above the shower stream just sipping it? I want that and then I was thinking, if I'm going to get a fridge in my shower, why the hell not am I going to get a microwave? You know what I mean? Nuke up some taquitos. Live a little. It's 2022. The world's going down. And if you want a warm hot pocket when you shower, who am I to stop you? I think this is my best video we've ever made. Oh, this is nice. You know, people know in Los Angeles, it gets a little cold in the evening. It's been freezing this, this last few weeks here. It's been getting into the forties at night. It actually snows in some parts of LA. People don't realize that we have some Hills. Uh, but anyway, you can get a nice, this is a, um, looks to be like a piped in gas. You don't want that propane. I have, I have a propane fireplace cause I'm uh, living the poor life. I uh, don't throw that out into the universe, Dave. I'm rich and full of abundance. Uh, sign up for the Patreon, <laughs> but they've got the hardwired gas here. That's pretty nice. Powerful fireplace at night. Um, so they've been together for 18 months. What do you guys think about this? 18 months and there they are. I mean, they do look like the before and after photo of like, well, this was Colton in the nineties and this is Colton in the 2000s. You know what I mean? This is Colton when he applied to college. This is Colton when he realized how much his student debt was until he, uh, ended up seeking fame. Uh, anyway, so that's where they are. 
Um, Lance Bass criticized Colton Underwood for monetizing the experience of being gay. Yeah, there's plenty of people that came out of the closet to, um, you know, being abandoned by their families or, 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 or even worse, and they didn't get a chance to monetize coming out the way Colton did. You know, but of course, for the people that are closeted in the Midwest or from Missouri, uh, he's Missouri, wherever, Illinois, what's the difference? Is Illinois, Missouri, come on, guys. Um, you know, it's, it's obviously... Uh, you know, there's um, you know, there, there someone will benefit from it, but of course, Colton has benefited more than anyone. Uh, for three million dollars, my fiance sent me this: three point eight million, fifty-four thousand square feet, five hundred acres. You don't think I could find a power recap studio here? Only problem is you have to live in West Virginia. I'm kidding. I'm, I hear it's beautiful out there. Um, you know, if my, you know, uh, power recapping doesn't work out, I'll work in the coal mines. Clean coal, folks. Um, so that's three point eight million. But I started looking at places. I was like, where can I get in like Iowa for three million? I looked three million plus, uh, no homes, no search results for three million plus. The most expensive home I found in Iowa was one point three million. And I'm sure you could find some nicer ones. But still, can you believe this? One point three million is barely more than I pay for rent. Um, just unbelievable. Could I recap? Could this be my recap studio? <laughs> All right. And then I looked to Bozeman. We like Bozeman, Montana. You want a nice home? Here's a, here's a home relatively the same cost in Bozeman, Montana. Now, don't get me wrong. This is a, uh, oh, geez, look at the moon. Can you imagine waking up to this every day? Unbelievable. Unreal. I feel like you just, your closet becomes denim if you get this. Absolutely. And as we know, due to the global pandemic, a lot of people have been moving to Bozeman, driving up prices. So this is just un... By the way, I don't think... I've watched enough horror movies to know I don't want a window this big without any sort of protective covering there. You know what I mean? Don't you like to walk around naked at night? How can you do that with a big old window there? I don't know what this room is for. This looks like the waiting room for the orgy. That's what this looks like. Anyway... um, fireplace this is a little too like we need to do something with this exposed cement i like exposed brick but not exposed mortar um 3.4 million home in houston boy you know it's nice when you're when you need a bridge to get over parts of your um uh pool there uh but uh you know i don't see a barn you know what i mean is this part of the property too is that a second pool i want here i want my barn to have its own pool um Pretty nice, though. It looks very echoey. I don't know if we can make content in this place here. Um, I don't like the marble. It's not really working for me. Um, but that's fine. You know, what What can you do? Uh, we'll go look at one more home here. I think I, I think Detroit has the... Uh, okay, nice little bar area. Again, I you know, this this it might, might work out. But um, pretty unreal what you can get for $3 million in other places. But then again, and it, can you imagine being six? Imagine being four, five, or six years old... And this is your, this is like every kid's dream. I don't, you just like have your own little balcony over here. You can jump down into your bed and, you know, repel from the, no, that would be amazing. Uh, $3 million, just under $3 million in Detroit. This spot, a little more, you know, uh, elegant. Uh, I thought I saw, oh, this is it. Look at, folks, a little breaking news here. Dave Neal, home of power recapper, Dave Neal, Mr. Detroit Dave, imagine what I would do. This is exactly, now this isn't the, like the structurally what I was thinking of, but what I would like is a garage turned into a performance studio where I've got uh, room for stand-up comedy and like light, light artistic music, small bands, and then also an area where we can do like standing green room stuff so we can do like talk soup style uh, e-commentary, and then another corner where we do our traditional power recapping. And then upstairs, it can be just like a, um, a lounge for when the in-laws are in town. Doesn't that look nice? Get a statue. Should we get a statue of myself? Okay, I think we've done enough here. So those are some daydreaming things that I thought of. But let me know what you think of Colton's new home, and we'll talk to you later. More content coming your way all day long. We'll be live streaming later on today. What's the graphic? Oh, that's not it. Where'd the graphic go? There it is. Today, live stream, 5 p.m. East Coast, 2 p.m. West Coast. All right, we'll talk to you guys later. Bye now.